hello and uh, welcome to this short video which is showing you the third technique on how you use your knowledge organizers and this technique is flashcards now flashcards are small squares of paper that you will use to write down pieces of information you don't need to buy flashcards. You can buy flashcards, you can buy them from um, b and Bargains, you can get them from WH Smith, you can get them from anywhere, but actually all you need is a piece of paper, a piece of A4 paper, which you'll just fold neatly into four, into four. You can then unfold it and literally take a pair of scissors and you can cut along your folds. If you do that, you'll be left with some nice squares of paper. So again, I've got everything that I need. I've got my knowledge organizer. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, how did African Americans achieve civil rights and my knowledge organizer for history. I've got my book to enable me to cover up if I need to. I've got my flashcards, my pens, but also I've got a piece of paper here marked Monday and Tuesday. Monday is tomorrow, Tuesday is the following day, and that's important, but we'll come to that in a minute. So my first step, I'm gonna take my information from my knowledge organizer, and I'm gonna write the definitions down for my keywords. So on the front side, in black pen, I'm gonna write down my keyword. So my keyword here is boycott. And on the back of the same piece of paper, I'm going to write the definition, which is to stop using something as a form of protest. So that's one card for boycott. And then I'm going to do limited on the next one, so limited, and on the back of limited, I'm going to write the definition, which is a small amount. Now I'm going to do this for all of the key terms, the keywords on my knowledge organizer there. So I've done a, a few more of those to show you. So I have cards now with the keyword on the front, and the definition on the back. You can do this for pretty much any subject in terms of keywords and definitions. It's really good for modern foreign languages, helps you learn French, German, Urdu, Spanish, any language really, really effectively. Um, I'm gonna do it today for history. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna cover my knowledge organizer. In front of me, I've just got my flashcards. So I'm gonna test myself. So, boycott, first series of words I've got here. So, limited and boycott we've just done together. So I think limited was a small number. So I turn over and have a look at the definition on the back, a small amount. So I'm happy I've got that correct. Now, I don't need to come back to that tomorrow. So I'm gonna put that on Tuesday and I'm gonna come back to that in two days time, just to see if I've remembered it. I'm then going to look at boycott. So I think boycott meant to avoid something, not go to a protest. So let's have a look. To stop using something. Ah, okay. So I've got that wrong. Now that's quite important. I've got that wrong. I need to come back to that again tomorrow. So I'm going to put that one on the pile for Monday. Because the ones that I have forgotten or the ones that I am struggling with, I need to come back more often and practice with. So therefore, they're there for Monday. I've got Confederate, which I think were the Southern States in the American Civil War. Again, the name for the Southern States in the American Civil War, that's correct. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I build up a list of ones that I've remembered really well and ones that I've struggled a little bit with. And I'm gonna build up my list. Tomorrow, I will come back and do the gaps in my learning. I will try and relearn these key terms that I didn't get right this time round. And then on Tuesday, I will do these words. 
If I get these words wrong again on Monday, I will then add them to the pile for Tuesday. If I get them right, I would then move them to Wednesday until eventually I get all of them correct. When I get them all correct, I can try another section of my knowledge organizer. It's a really great way of revising and retrieval. The beauty of this is you keep these cards and you can go back to them at any point in time that you like before you have an assessment. They're a really great revision tool just to keep going back to and practicing. The way that I like to use them is I like to get somebody else to test me. I give them my flashcards and ask them just to pick them out at random and test me to see if I can give them the correct definition on the back. A really useful and easy, simple way of revising and retrieving all of that key and essential knowledge that you need. I hope that was useful. Thank you very much.